Megan, I am so glad to be standing across from you today. Uh, thank you for giving me a second chance on our first date, even though I fell asleep on one of those movie dates. Thank you for forgiving me uh, when I texted you right away. Um, our road getting here hasn't been the easiest, uh, but we have been able to share it through good times and bad. I am so glad to have walked through it all with you. Uh, thank you for always supporting me and encouraging me and my faith and also my career as well as school. I vow to do the same for you for the rest of my life. I will... Oh, I can't read my handwriting. I will promise to continue to make you laugh uncontrollably like right now uh, with my silly and nonsensical jokes. Uh, I vow to do it even more during your hard days and on your time of the month. I promise to hug you when you're sad, uh, hold you, make you happy if I can, uh, when you're scared or angry in life. I look forward to many more drive-in movie dates, our fun park dates with Subway, uh, travel adventures with you. I love you and I'm so excited for our adventures ahead. I found a star in you, always guiding me to where my words are true. My beloved Brandon, we finally made it. In less than one hour, we officially be husband and wife. Finally. <laughs> Although God made me wait 26 long years to meet you, I can say with total confidence that you were worth the wait. I could not imagine marrying anyone else. And I know you're not completely sold on the whole soulmate thing, but I believe God uniquely created you with me in mind and uniquely created me with you in mind. Your passion for God and readily giving heart are the first things that attracted me to you. I know how we met wasn't exactly how either of us had envisioned, you know, online, but it allowed us to get to know each other deeply and build a solid relationship based on our shared faith and our sense of humor. One of the things I love about you the most is your laugh, which is open, honest, and loud and uniquely you. I also love that you're not afraid to be silly and that you make weird faces at me and do little dances <laughs> as you shimmy into your shoes, but you're also not afraid to talk about the hard stuff in life and have serious discussions. You're constantly looking ways for to make our relationship grow and deeper and stronger. You're financially savvy and you notice the small details, which I greatly appreciate. I love your comforting touch and how you're always considerate of how, uh, how I'm feeling even when I'm hangry. <laughs> I could easily keep talking about everything I love about you, but for the sake of time and our guests, I'll keep my list short. <laughs> but know that I promise to never stop loving you. I promise to be intentional in marriage about choosing to love you and grow with you and live with you every day. <laughs> I know at times in our marriage, we won't it won't be easy. I also know who is at the foundation and center of our marriage though. And I'm confident that as long as we keep our eyes fixed on the Lord, he will give us the strength to fight for our marriage every day and live out our God-given purpose, which is to glorify him in all that we do, think, and say. So Brandon, thank you for choosing me to be your wife, a partner and lover to walk through life together. Thank you for being you. And I can't believe now that we're only a few minutes away from officially being husband and wife. You've been waiting for each other for a long time, and that wait is finally over. Because you pledge your undying love and devotion to each other, sealing your vows with the giving and receiving of rings in the presence of your family and friends, I do proclaim that you are husband and wife in the sight of God and man. Brandon, your wait is over, buddy. You may kiss your bride. I
told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not getting. 